Mater joins his best bud, Lightning McQueen, for a race through Tokyo, Italy, and London. To find out what happens when Mater is mistaken for a secret agent, read along with me in your book. You will know it's time to turn the page when you hear this sound. Let's begin now. Start your engines. It's go time. Finn McMissile and Holly Shiftwell stood on the second floor of the Tokyo Museum. They stared down at the party below. It was the night before the World Grand Prix, and the fastest cars in the world were all there. But Finn and Holly weren't watching the racers. They were British secret agents, and they were looking for an American agent who had some important information. Down at the party, Mater the tow truck and his best friend, the famous race car Lightning McQueen, were talking with Miles Axelrod, who was in charge of the race. Mater had been excited all night, and it kept getting him in trouble. When Lightning spotted some oil by Mater, he got upset. Mater, you have to get a hold of yourself. You're making a scene. Mater was embarrassed. But I never leak oil. Never. He hurried off to the bathroom. As he left the bathroom stall, Mater interrupted a fight. One of the cars in the fight was the American agent. When Mater wasn't paying attention, the secret agent saw his chance. He planted the top secret information on the tow truck. A second later, two other cars chased Mater away. Get out of here! Out in the hallway, Holly stopped Mater. She spoke to him in a quiet voice. When can I see you again? Mater was surprised. Well, let's see. Tomorrow I'll be out there at the races. He thought Holly wanted to go on a date. But Holly didn't want a date. She knew Mater was carrying secret information. She thought he was the American agent. The next day was the first race of the World Grand Prix. Lightning McQueen zoomed around the track as Mater and the rest of the crew cheered him on from the pit. Suddenly, one of the racer's engines started to smoke. It had blown. A moment later, another race car blew an engine and skidded out of control. Just then, a voice came through Mater's headset. Get out of the pit now! Mater recognized that voice. Hey, I know you. You're that girl from the party last night. You want to do our date right now? Mater left the arena to meet the pretty car. Mater looked for Holly. She spoke to him over the headset when she saw him try to buy flowers. Mater replied, forgetting that Lightning could hear him. Stay outside, got you. Lightning was confused, but he moved to the outside of the track. Meanwhile, Mater spotted Finn McMissile fighting the two tough cars from the bathroom. Mater didn't know Finn was a secret agent. He thought he was watching a karate demonstration. He cheered them on. Lightning told Mater to turn off the headset. Moving outside had cost him the lead. He tried to catch up, but another car won the race. Afterward, Lightning was furious with Mater. I lost the race because of you! Mater offered to try and fix things, but Lightning was too mad to listen. I don't need your help! I don't want your help! Mater didn't want Lightning to lose any more races. He decided it would be better if he left. The next morning, he went to the airport to fly home. Finn McMissile went over to him, disguised as a security guard. Come with me, please, sir. Finn knew that Grem and Acer, the two bad cars from the bathroom, were following Mater. They knew he had important information, and they wanted to get it back. When Grem and Acer began to chase them, Finn told Mater what to do. Drive forward. Whatever you do, don't stop. Finn fought off the bad cars as he and Mater sped out to a jet. 
Polly was on the jet, too. They looked at a picture that the agent in the bathroom had given to Mater. Mater knew all about the engine they were looking at. Finn and Holly told Mater they needed his help for a top secret mission. Mater agreed. But you know I'm just a tow truck, right? Holly and Finn didn't believe him. They still thought Mater was a secret agent. And a very good one. The agents decided Mater should go undercover. So I just go in and pretend to be this truck. Finn finished for it. And leave the rest to us. Disguised as a Russian tow truck, Mater snuck into a meeting of bad cars in Italy. He learned about a sinister plot to hurt the racers in the World Grand Prix. The bad cars were using radiation guns disguised as cameras to cause the racers' engines to explode. Mater realized that lightning was in danger. At that moment, Lightning McQueen was in Italy for the second race of the World Grand Prix. As the racers sped through the winding streets, another car exploded. The bad cars struck again. Mater knew he had to warn Lightning, but as he tried to leave the meeting, he blew his cover. One of the cars spotted him. It's the American spy! Dad, gum! Mater made a quick getaway using some gadgets Holly had given him. Suddenly, a parachute opened, and he flew off. Mater hurried to the racetrack to warn Lightning. He pushed his way through the crowd, trying to get his friend's attention. Let me through! You gotta let me in! Before Mater could reach his friend, the bad cars captured him. The next thing Mater knew, he was trapped. Finn and Holly were with him. They'd been captured too. Mater was upset. This is all my fault. I'm not a spy! I really am just a tow truck. This time, Finn and Holly realized he was telling the truth. The agents knew they were inside Big Bentley, a famous clock in London. Nearby, the final race of the World Grand Prix was taking place. Finn listened carefully. You hear that? Those are race car engines revving in place. The third race hasn't started yet. Mater realized he still had time to warn Lightning. He used the spy gadgets the agents had given him to saw through his chains. Then he raced off to save his friend. After Mater had left, Holly used her electroshockers to turn back the hands on the clock. She and Finn escaped from the trap and hurried after Mater. They had discovered something terrible. The bad cars had planted a bomb under the tow truck's hood. When Lightning saw Mater drive onto the racetrack, he forgot all about the race. Mater! I've been so worried about you! Just then, Finn radioed Mater to tell him about the bomb. Mater knew he had to get away from Lightning. He began to drive backwards. Stay away from me! In the meantime, Finn and Holly began to capture the bad guys. But when more showed up, Mater's friends from Radiator Spring stepped in to help. Ramon spray-painted one, while Guido pulled the tires off another. But it was Mater who really saved the day. He figured out exactly who could deactivate the bomb. Everyone was safe. The Queen of England was so pleased, she made Mater a knight. I hereby dub thee Sir Toe Mater. Sir, you just call me Mater, your majesty. Soon, Mater, Lightning, and the gang were back home. Best of all, it had been decided that the last race of the World Grand Prix would now be held in Radiator Springs. The race would decide once and for all who was the fastest car in the world. Lightning was happy too. No press, no trophy, just racing the way I like it. Just before the race, Finn and Holly showed up. 
Finn asked Mater to join them on a new mission. Spy or not, you're still the smartest, most honest chap we've ever met. But Mater didn't want to leave his friends. Thanks. It was much fun as it was hanging with y'all. This, this is where I belong. Still, there was one last thing he wanted to do. Mater sped down the racetrack until he was next to his best friend, Lightning. Check it out! They let me keep the rockets! I'll see you at the finish line, buddy! Mater grinned. Not if I see you first! <laughs> <laughs>